are going back on January 10th. Lucky them. I know, I'd say. <laughs> even having two weeks off, I mean, I, I know it feels like we can't yeah. even imagine that I now, know. <laughs> you know, being adults, but the kids, that that wake up call is going to hurt. Brutal. Especially this morning when you, that fog just kind of makes you want to sleep in. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. And especially, you know, it's the bus drivers for say back to work and they've yes. got to drive through this. Yeah. Oh gosh. So we're dealing with some pretty dense fog outside right now. Dense fog advisory in effect until 10 a.m. Would not be surprised to see this extended until 11 a.m. Here's a look at our visibility numbers around town right now. We've got little to no visibility in Reedsville. We're at an eighth of a mile again in Greensboro. Things were looking better and now not so much. We are starting to see Yanceyville and Danbury reporting normal visibility at this hour, but we have Winston-Salem, Burlington at a quarter of a mile. Moxville, Lexington, High Point, Asheboro all at a half a mile. Here's a look at our visibility numbers in the foothills where we're down to limited visibility in Mount Airy, but elsewhere looking OK, especially in the mountains where they really haven't experienced many serious issues today. Temperatures are in the 40s or even the 50s in parts of the area, though, so it is warm. And as we head through the next couple of hours, that fog will clear mostly cloudy skies and temperatures in the mid 60s this afternoon. Mid to low 60s for the foothills, cloudy skies and winds five miles an hour or less. We're even making it to the 60s in the mountains with partly cloudy skies and winds five miles an hour or less. What we're looking ahead to though, of course, is our first storm system of the new year as we head through the day today and most of tomorrow staying dry. But then late on Tuesday, we start to see some showers and storms rolling into the picture. I'm not expecting severe weather here. Wednesday, some showers and storms even in the morning and then continuing through the afternoon as the cold front passes through. That cold front could cause severe weather. So here's a look at our severe storm risk from the Storm Prediction Center. All of this area is shaded in green under a marginal threat for severe weather. That's a level one out of five on the severe weather scale. So we're concerned primarily about damaging winds, although this far out, there's the potential that we end up with a setup that could cause isolated tornadoes. So we're watching that very closely. You'll want to stay with us for the latest there. Wednesday will be an impact day, 70% chance for showers and storms. Late Tuesday, a couple of showers as well. And then on Thursday, we're dry, but we're also cooler back down to normal temperatures, which are around 50 degrees right now. Thank you, Jacqueline. Coming up next, a new year, new money. Which states are increasing their minimum wage? And do you have expensive taste? The social experiment testing just how accurate it is.